With movie theaters still out of the question because of the pandemic, lots of us are trying to recreate the experience at home. If you really want a giant screen, however, a TV won't do. You're going to need a projector. You may think of projectors as expensive, dim, or even janky, but that's no longer the case. Nowadays, you can get 4K HDR projectors with near theater quality images for under $1,000. And the latest ultra short throw laser models are bright, sharp, and easier to install than ever. Before you start running to the store for popcorn, it's important to learn a few things and beware of the pitfalls. So we're here to help. Projectors generally use two systems, LCD and DLP. These are fundamentally different technologies with advantages and drawbacks to each. Most projector manufacturers use DLPs or digital light processing units manufactured by Texas Instruments. The heart of the tech is an optical semiconductor called a digital micromirror device or DMD that contains millions of aluminum mirrors. Those reflect light either toward or away from the screen to create bright and dark parts of the image. Meanwhile, LCD tech uses a prism to split a light source into red, green, and blue beams. Those then pass through LCD displays containing the image and converge via another prism before passing through the projector lens. LCD projectors tend to be sharper, more efficient, and more color accurate, but have lower contrast ratios and can experience image degradation over time. In general, they're also more expensive. The other thing you need to know about is the type of illumination. Lasers are a far better solution than lamps because they're brighter and last far longer. Where lamps only last up to 6,000 hours, lasers can go for 30,000 hours, so they never need to be replaced. Projector brightness is measured in lumens, which is not the same thing as nits. Where many 4K TVs can hit 1,000 nits of brightness these days, the brightest home projectors only display 4,000 lumens. That equates to about 100 to 150 nits coming from the screen. That's not as big a deal as it might seem. Projector images are much larger, and in a dark room, your eyes will adjust to the light. As a point of comparison, the average movie theater screen brightness is only about 50 nits. Okay, so that's what's inside a projector making the image, but what should you look for as a buyer? Probably the first spec you'll get hit with is brightness, measured in lumens, followed by contrast. Home theater projectors generally range in brightness between 2,000 to 4,000 lumens, but many models will only hit those levels if you use the high brightness settings, which can hurt image quality and the lifespan of your bulb. Another huge consideration is mounting and fan noise. A big advantage of long throw projectors is that you can mount the projector and screen on the ceiling using zero space in your room. Doing that does mean budgeting for a mounting bracket and long cables. Some projectors are noisier than others, and usually the more you spend, the less noise you get. Many of the new 4K DLP projectors, when operating in 4K mode, are particularly noisy. As with TVs, you're going to want a projector that supports HDR. Most do that these days, even lower resolution models. As I mentioned before, projectors can't produce anywhere close to the minimum 400 nits required to qualify as HDR. Rather, they use a technique called tone mapping to fit the entire HDR gamut into a lower brightness range. Only expensive projectors that cost $5,000 and up have native 4K resolution. However, many budget-oriented models, starting at $1,000, use pixel shifting to hit the 4K mark. That system emits each pixel four times while moving it to the correct position for a 4K image, all in less than 1 60th of a second. As such, it puts as many pixels on the screen in the same amount of time as a 4K native projector, and visually, it performs nearly as well. On the other hand, Epson's LCD 4K enhanced projectors also have 1080p native resolution, but the image is just shifted twice, not four times. So those projectors are not 4K natively or otherwise, but do produce double the pixel count of a 1080p projector. Now let's talk about optics and projector type. In the last two years, ultra short throw projectors have become the hot new category. They have several benefits. You can mount them close to the wall like a TV, so there's no need to run wires through your walls and ceiling. 
At the same time, you still get an immersive image as large as 120 inches, something that's impossible with a TV unless you're very rich. They also use brighter lasers that never need to be replaced, and because laser light is collimated, focusing is eliminated. Keep in mind that if you go for an ultra short throw model, you're going to want an ambient light rejecting or ALR screen, so you'll need to add $500 or more to your budget. You can't use roll down screens, and while a white wall may work, it must be perfectly flat. If you're looking for a long throw projector, you'll need to consider the zoom range and whether the projector has a lens shift option. A decent zoom range will make it easier to mount the projector where you want with the screen size that you want. You'll also need to budget at least $200 or more for a motorized roll down screen, or you can use a wall or basic pull down screen. Lens shift, meanwhile, is used if the projector is mounted higher or lower relative to the screen than recommended by the manufacturer or any horizontal distance off center. That creates a trapezoidal shaped image, but by dialing in some lens shift, you can optically square it up. Otherwise, you might have to use a keystone correction, which digitally stretches or shrinks part of the image, resulting in noticeable distortion or pixel artifacts. Finally, if you're interested in a projector for gaming, you'll want to look up the refresh rate and input lag figures. Some new projectors from ViewSonic, Optoma, and others offer up to 240Hz, 1080p refresh rates, and input lag settings down to 4 or 5 milliseconds. Now that we're clear on the technology and how to buy, let's look at a few of our favorite projectors of 2021. Even if budget is an issue, you don't need to compromise on certain key features. Optoma's $500 HD 146X uses DLP tech to deliver 1080p video at up to 3600 lumens with excellent brightness, color accuracy, and contrast. It also has decent gaming specs with just 16.4 milliseconds of input lag. The main drawbacks are a lack of 4K and limited zoom range. If 4K is a must, the best budget projector with that feature is ViewSonic's PX701 4K. For $900, it comes with a TI.47 inch chip and uses pixel shifting to generate a 4K image. It's quite bright at 3200 lumens with HDR10, and it's one of the best gaming projectors, handling 1080p at 240Hz with just 5 seconds of input lag. Moving up another notch in price is BenQ's $1,600 HT3550i. It's similar to the previous HT3550 model, offering reference quality 4K in HDR and SDR. That's a match for projectors costing much more. The latest model brings a huge addition, Android TV. That gives you streaming options via Chromecast or AirPlay, and is one of the few projectors to offer that feature. By contrast, Epson's $2,000 Home Cinema 4010 4K Pro is designed more for gaming than home entertainment. It delivers great gaming performance with a 240Hz refresh at 1080p and one of the lowest latency figures we've ever seen in a projector at 4.2 milliseconds. That brings us to ultra short throw projectors. The best value is the $3,000 Hisense 100L5F because it delivers 2,700 lumens of brightness along with 4K HDR and has a 30 watt dual speaker system with DBX TV. Best of all, it comes with a 100 inch ALR screen, so you won't need to buy one separately. If you want a bit better image quality and more brightness, Optoma Cinemax P2 is also a good pick at $3,300. If pure image quality is paramount and money isn't an obstacle, Samsung's $6,500 premium LSP9T is the projector you want. It has some of the most incredible color accuracy specs we've seen on any display product, professional monitors included. It's very bright at 2800 lumens and is the only projector lineup available with HDR10+, Samsung's answer to Dolby Vision. Another good and slightly cheaper option is Epson's Epic Vision Ultra LS500, which is one of the brightest ultra short throw home models you can buy with a 4000 lumen rating. Finally, your best long throw laser projector option is Optima's $6000 UHZ 65LV. With TI's larger DLP chip, it delivers 4K resolution at up to 5000 lumens, making it ideal for HDR content, 
even with ambient light streaming in. It also offers features you'd expect in a premium projector, like a 1.6x zoom and vertical lens shift. Those are just some of the options available. For a more detailed explanation of the tech and all 15 of our recommendations, check our Engadget Projector Buyer's Guide in the link below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe for all the latest tech content.